Yo, welcome back once again. The name is Alex Seva here, and the channel is k 2 YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look together how we can interface OLED 0.91 inch SSD 1306 other fruits OLED. Now, let us start by unboxing it and then the part of it. Now, this is that OLED we've been talking about which come in a transparent box you see it is having uh, four terminals i2c terminals which is ground plus five volts sda and scl as you see it has a screen and that screen it is used of course to display the the readings from the microcontroller and of course it depends on uh, the technology of organic light emitting diode while emitting light which give us which give it uh, ability to display both numbers characters and special characters and the uh, punctuations this OLED has low power consumption uh, comparing to the other display LCD now in connecting the OLED controller circuit of course we will need a microcontroller which is Arduino Nano OLED itself and some jumper wires with some jumper wires which are here and of course we will, we will supply first the VCC to the OLED which is a VCC pin will be connected to will be connected to plus 5 volts of Arduino Nano and the ground will be connected the ground will be connected to the ground of Arduino then the SCL will be connected to Arduino Nano pin A5 and the SDA pin will be connected to the Arduino Nano pin A4. Then after finishing connecting the component, your circuit will be looking just like this. Let us continue also with the Arduino sketch that will be used in this project. In this video, we will be looking just like this. You see, first we include the library which is wire.h and that library is for activating the i2c communication the second library is a graphic library gfx of course that work together with the OLED the main uh, and don't miss library in this sketch will be of course the other fruits ssd 1306 for uh, before before uploading the code to the Arduino Nano, you must have to check if this library are installed in your library manager. Of course, you come to tools, then manage library, and then wait for the window to pop up. And here you will see all the installed library. But if you find that your library is not installed, you will search for other fruits 1306. But for me, I already finished to install that library, so there is no need to install it. If you find it uninstalled, of course, it will give you an option to install that library. And you will do the same thing to the missing library in your Arduino. Yeah, this is the object that declaring the class of our OLED. Of course, you see this is the height and the width of the OLED display screen. And this for is for reset. And here we in void setup, we begin of course the OLED library and then we clear it because sometimes this uh, this OLED start with with showing the logo of the manufacturer in the screen and in the void loop 
there is a function which is already dot set size to set the size of the font of course of the letter that will be displayed in the screen and the size range from 0 up to 7 and the, the second function is OLED dot set color of course to set the color the output to the OLED and that color it is still being white because that already display displays only a monochrome color and then you continue and we repeat the same thing in this in the in the flowing code but before printing other thing to already you have of course to call up this function of already.clear after finishing up we upload the code to the Arduino Nano you see that the code is already uploaded then the result goes like that guys I hope that you enjoyed the video Make sure you hit subscribe, leave a comment down below in the comment section for any question or any suggestion and don't forget to subscribe to get the latest upload from K2K YouTube channel. It was Alex Seva here. Ciao, I hope to meet you again soon.